Welcome to the Breton channel. Today we'll have a headless shot. But not about this little print test. What about this big animal that I have here? And uh, we'll do troubleshooting. You can see that there were two problems. Basically, the print stopped. And you can see over here where the head stopped. And it's almost done. It just stopped before final few layers with the thermal error. In my clipper that's one thing to investigate obviously there are some minor issues like uh, some blobs some retraction problem but the big problem that you can see here is layer shifting in only one axis as this surface is flat and you can see that the x axis of the printer was shifting but in Terry's interest interesting thing is surprising thing is that these shifts are small right so basically it didn't shift like usually one centimeter back and the whole thing is straight up but shifted it was just uh smear, let's say uh moving a bit around so that's an interesting issue to investigate seems to be mechanical and we'll look into it so let's have a look at the printer itself so what we're looking here for is the problem with x-axis and the belt is not loose. The pulley on the shaft of the stepper motor is tight and if this would be that problem then the layers will be shifted once and, and stay that way. So let's see what happens with uh, the head itself. And this is a minimus uh, hardened cover that's a good, nice mod because I can easily just pull out the whole fan solution, cooling solution. And here is our print head. And let's check if it wobbles. You see? It does. So basically, when I've been installing this frame, this bracket, I probably failed to tighten these screws. Strong enough, and all the vibration that happens when you print stuff were enough for the thing to get loose. So let me tighten it up. When you do some fixing while filming, usually what happens, you have the, uh, the key flying away or other stuff, and it's nicely tightened, not moving anymore, and the advantage of the Minimus design is that now I take this little guy here, put it there, and now it's done, <laughs> fixed. So we are done with one of the problems, layer shifting. Now let's see what happens with the uh, thermal problem at the very end of the print. As we have the first issue with layer shifting resolved and the screws are tightened, the bolts are tightened, now we need to investigate what happened that we got the heater extruder not hitting at expected rate error that you can see now on the screen. And during the print I've heard the, the layer, the, the, the part cooling fan actually went off at some moments, which was a bit surprising, but let's get to the Prusa slicer. Here we can see the, the object sliced and let's look for that. So if we go to the feature type we can have a look at fan speed and it looks like the fan speed is low 20 which is okay for, um, for PETG but I have heard something at the very beginning here yeah, and as you can see right here there is 100% and it's here that's what I heard we go up 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 and again there's something here short one and if we go to the area that was here you can see that other bridges are also cooled somewhere in the in between and at the very top we got the whole 
layer that Prusa is recognizing as bridging. So first layer on top of the infill is recognized as bridging and it is cooled at 100% speed. So what is happening? You have a 20% uh, part cooling fan and it jumps immediately to 100% and if you're printing roughly at the limit of your volumetric speed, so the really your, your, your uh, melting the filament is using majority of the heat, then adding an extra cooling, which uh, also the, the part cooling fan cools a bit the, um, at the hot end because there's no way to fully restrict the, the airflow, then it may drop beyond. So what we need to know, what we need to do, we need to find where the thing is. Uh, so let's go to the uh, filament settings and the cooling settings and you can see here that the cooling is disabled with this zero thing but here is our problem bridges fan speed 100% so what we can do we can either limit it to something like 50 or even lower or disable it totally but I think I'll go for 50 and try if it works and now if we slice it again in the very same place we'll get the colors are the same but basically this now is a 50% a blip that should be fine okay so we found two issues now I can reprint that uh, I don't I didn't I don't have it done so I can't tell you if I fix everything but we will give it a try and once this few hours print is done I will attach the result to this video at the very end. Yeah, one more idea came to my mind that actually to test if 50% is enough I just sunk the whole thing and I will print just the top part as you can see here so I will not need a 7 hours print to test it out because it's fairly dense object. Uh, I just will need 38 minutes as you can see here and still I have the 50% blip over here so let's test it. And as you can see the thing printed perfectly this time so all the issues are resolved. Thanks for watching!